All right, we are live recording. Frank, we're in the same town here. Barstool Units episode. We're getting But on. we're in the same county. We're in the, sorry. I apologize to everyone in New Jersey. Uh, we are in the same county, not in the same town. I mean, I, I, I'm in Belleville, so which which is close. It's yeah, eight yeah. miles away from uh, Newark. Uh, uh, there was some excitement going on downstairs today from you. Uh, the Devils decided to draft uh, uh, Jack Hughes' brother and Quinn Hughes, who plays for the Vancouver Canucks, mm -hmm. seemed to be overly excited. Yeah. Yeah, that, that, that's, a, that's a good way to describe it. He, he seemed, uh, his brother seemed very excited. I mean, it, 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 he almost looked like a chihuahua humping somebody's leg. Yeah, I don't. Uh, is there? Do, you, do we have a backstory yet on what on what that was? I mean, he he's. I mean, that's. It seemed like that was the ultimate. Uh, it seemed like he that was the ultimate selection that could have happened for him. Well, it, it's. Uh, I guess uh, Quinn is happy that his brothers will be playing together, and uh, if I'm Vancouver, I'm starting to think about. Yeah, he's going to want to be played for the Devils, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Now, there's no chance Luke Hughes is actually playing a single game with the Devils next year. And why not? Well, he's um, already committed to playing at Michigan, who has a chance to win a uh, hockey national championship. Okay. Gotcha. And in hockey, uh, a team holds your rights if they sign you. Or it's 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 a little weird how it works, but so you can play in and you can play in the NCAA while having your rights owned by a team, and the Devils will likely want him to spend a year in Michigan, and then maybe after a year, if they think he's seasoned enough, we'll bring him on board. Gotcha. So the the Devils basically would still have the rights to him as a player. They wouldn't have to redraft him. But no, no. Rights hold, I think, at least three years. Gotcha. And at least three years. And they're going to even like have like a, a verbal agreement where they would want him to actually play at Michigan. Mm -hmm. the, the NHL is a lot different. It's a lot. The, uh, the NHL actually does things a lot of it right. Yeah. Where a team could draft you and you could still go to college and play in college. Yeah. You don't. You don't have. To, you don't have to make the decision right away. And yeah. it seems like they don't want you to. It's, well, it seems like they they want you to make the decision, but the decision would be college. Yeah, especially since uh, when his brother was the first overall pick, looked so bad his first season. Yeah. Well, not that he looked bad. He looked like he was fourteen trying to go up against men. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know. That happens. I mean, that's you know. I mean, the same thing with with baseball. I mean, Chipper Jones came out, you know, right out of high school from from Bowles and Jackson. Yeah, well, he went to the minors. Yeah, I, you know, well, that's that's what I'm saying. So basically, so they're mm -hmm. they're going to use they're going to use uh, Minnesota as a, a year of the minor leagues. So basically, uh, I'm actually trying to watch these opening ceremonies. So they just showed the U.S. march on, but they didn't show Japan and France march on. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, whatever. It's it's happened twelve hours ago, and they're trying to show it as if it's live. Yeah. yeah well, that, that and that that's always the issue with, with that when there's the, the time differences and everything. And there's no one there in the uh, there's no one there watching anywhere in the stands. No, it's it's kind of depressing, actually. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, obviously, you know, you, I, I understand why they're doing it, but I mean, it's at a, at a certain point, it's the whole point of the Olympics is to bring everyone together and you know have countries compete, but. If there's no one there watching, what's the point? Yeah, <clears throat> but you know it's uh, you know the, the we'll see it. We'll see if once the events start and the Olympics really get uh, going, if it's going to be yeah, if it's going to be really affected. Of course, we'll be watching a lot of the Olympics uh, while on the road trip next week. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Well, yeah, the the, the road trip continues. Uh, that's I started uh, started in Jacksonville on Sunday. And I, I tell you what, I'm I'm not saying that I'm putting in a lot of work, but I feel like my, my voice is hoarse. I'm not sure if you can tell. Tonight, I'm, I'm glad to be, <laughs> I'm not sure if many people say this, I'm glad to be in Newark tonight. 
Um, <laughs> and uh, I, I know we had, you know, thought about going to a Cyclones game tonight, uh, but, you know, you ended up going last night. Uh, they had the free, uh, the free, what was it, Irish, the Irish hat? Yeah, it was an Irish hat. Yeah, it was an Irish hat night. You know, of course, that's a, a wonderful baseball uh, promotion. Started on Sunday. Yeah, kind of, kind of, there it is. There you go. <laughs> I mean, you got to go. Listen, if, if a minor league team is giving out a free Irish hat, you, you got to go to the game. I mean, I went – the first time I went to a Cyclones game was uh, Saturday, and I found out, oh, they have an Irish hat Thursday night. I think I have to go. <laughs> That's that's the beauty of minor league baseball. They even had a little person on the field that they called the leprechaun. Oh, really? Yes. Wow. And he, he was actually handing out the hats <laughs> at the gate. I'm, I'm that that surprises me. What surprised me that they would do that in 2021? Well, if he's in on a joke. Yeah, I, I get that. That's that's a very a very fair point. You know, uh, you know, we don't want to take anybody cops away or anything. I mean, if if he's if he's in on it, I mean, yeah, it's like uh, the old horn swoggle there. Yeah, no, absolutely, absolutely. Well, that's uh, it's it's been a heck of a road trip so far. Um, you know, the the last leg or the first leg, you know, I, I went like six different cities or seven different cities in seven days. Um, started in Charleston on Sunday. Monday was a traveling day. Got to go to uh, the aquarium there in uh, Charleston, South Carolina. Uh, then it went up to Durham, see the Durham Bulls. I mean, uh, very cool stadium there. Uh, people are real nice. Then Southern Maryland Blue Crabs got to help out uh, pulling up the tarp. Have you ever done any kind of grounds crew work, Frank? No, I haven't. I tell you what, I mean, it, I, I appreciate what they're. I appreciate all the, the the work they do anyway to get the you know make the diamond perfect and everything every game. Uh, but I, I decided to help them out after a little rain delay. And uh, it's it's not easy work. It makes you definitely really appreciate all that work. Well, if you ever see one of the first rain delays when the Marlins joined the uh, Major League Baseball, yeah, it was against the uh, was against the uh, Mets, mm -hmm. and it was uh, where uh, basically they couldn't get the tarp on the field. They got stuck. It, and 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 if it's very easy to do so. I mean, if if it's raining. And the water collects on that tarp. It it doesn't matter how many people you get out there, you you, you can't pull it. Yeah, and it was like they kept trying to pull it, pull it, pull it, and they could nobody could uh, pull it. Yeah, I, I tell you, I, I asked the I asked the guy. I think it was either in in Durham or Southern Maryland. Um, I don't know why they and this and this might just be because I don't know the logistics of the grounds crew work. I would think that they would be able to have some kind of like basically metal pole or some kind of arm that would, you know, sit on the right, the right field line that you, you know, that you could basically just, you know, like an arm, it would pan out over outfield and then the tarp would just, you know, pull. Uh, one team actually did have that at one time. Okay. So, okay. Cause that's, I'm, I'm basically. Yeah. The St. Louis Cardinals at old Bush stadium had it. Okay. And, uh, before game one of the 19, uh, or was it game, uh, but uh, but just before the World Series, 1985, the turf rolled over the leg and uh, um, caused uh, Vince Coleman to miss the World Series. Really? And we're talking 1985, rookie of the year, 118 stolen bases. And then so this this mechanical arm that was that was uh, bringing out the tarp rolled over his leg. Yeah. Well, there you go. I wonder. I, I was. I mean, I was wondering. I mean, somebody had to have thought of that before. I mean, I'm not. You know, it, it's that's the uh, the lazy side of me. The lazy creative side of me was like, there's got to be an easier way. Uh, but yeah, I guess it would be a. It might be a health hazard for sure. Um, but yeah, so we were Southern Maryland uh, last night. I was in Lehigh. They really took care of me there in Lehigh. The Iron Pigs. They have a great stadium, Coca Cola Park. Um, be beautiful stadium. They have like dugout club level suites and everything. You're, I mean, you're you're closer to the catcher than the pitcher is, and um, yeah, be beautiful park. Everyone there is real nice. Uh, let me tell you about Brooklyn Stadium. It's got to be the worst minor league stadium if you're a youngster just starting your career. Oh really? Because 
you're standing here at home plate and just beyond the wall are roller coasters <laughs> including one roller coaster that you could see through the batter's eye yeah i mean that could be kind of a distraction a roller yeah. coaster behind left field yeah I can imagine. and behind right field is the famous parachute drop no i'm not i'm not i'm not familiar with that what's that one it's like a 100 year old parachute drop ride in coney island Okay, oh, it's one of those. So it's like a, it's it's one of those uh, carnival rides where you go up and then it and then it drops you down. Yes. Gotcha. Okay, I wasn't familiar with the, familiar with the name. Yeah, I would I would say it would probably be pretty distracting. I mean, you know, a lot of these minor league teams have these little, you know, kids play areas and everything, but none of that can compete with the uh, an actual roller coaster on Coney Island. I mean, uh, most minor league teams, you start off and you're like in little tiny towns. You're in lehigh valley or that's even triple a but uh oh yeah like just like tiny towns like like really like below it wisconsin yeah the snappers your uh high a team for the new york mets is in brooklyn yeah so you got those distractions too it's got it's got to be difficult if you are a, a member of uh this team yeah, was, uh, not only that, but I mean, there we've got some uh, some news coming out uh, from I think the is it the Oakland A's and I think the Los Angeles Angels minor league teams, the the A the single A affiliates, you know, they're they're having to stay in hotels even when they're in town, um, and you know, you've got you're paying a hundred bucks a night, and so a lot of times the hotel cost is more than what they're getting paid. Yeah, well, uh, the team's supposed to take care of that. Yeah, and I and I and I've heard that there are other teams that do. So I'm I'm not sure I'm not sure if the Mets. I know I know they said that the Mets are putting uh, the uh, the the uh, Brooklyn Cyclones. Uh, they say it like a hotel somewhere uh, near the Barclays Center, which is quite a hike away from uh, Coney Island. Let me tell you, it's that is probably one of the longest subway lot wide rides you would be on, is out to yeah. Coney Island. Yeah. I stayed. I stayed out in Brooklyn. The first time I came, I stayed out in Crown Heights, um, and I took that into the state or into Manhattan. I'm not sure how much further it is out to uh, Coney Island from there, from Crown Heights. I'm not sure. I think it might be in a different direction on Brooklyn. Hmm. Yeah. Well, that'll that'll. I'm 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 excited to to move up here real soon, and uh, finally check that out and everything. Uh, you know, we'll we'll see where I end up, whether I'm in Hoboken or whether I'm, you know, or we'll, we'll see. But uh, well, I'm still doing the home search. Yep. Yeah. I saw one I really like today. Oh yeah. Yes. I saw another which needs a lot of work, and uh, is currently uh, has a hidden area which I explored and saw. Let's just say plants. Okay, gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, they like their plants. Yeah, yeah. They're they're uh, herbologists. Yes. Yes. Horticulture. Horticulture. Yeah. They practice the they practice horticulture. Yeah, there you go. Well. And then I got to another one and uh, I'm just looking for two uh, you know I'm looking for two family houses. Mm -hmm. And then yep. they say, Oh well, You'll buy. Well, you'll have owned a whole house, but the tenant's not the tenant. You have to take care of her, and it's this eighty-six-year-old woman who's lived there for uh, fifty years. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm walking around and says, "Look, no. I can't do this. I, I can't. Yeah. I, yeah, I can't be the one to say, okay, yeah, time to go to uh, <laughs> time to go to the nursing home." Yeah. Yeah, that's. I imagine you look at her. You're like, lady, I, I can barely help myself. I can't help you. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I mean, she's she's sitting there. She has a. I'm, I'm walking through the place. I see uh, on the wall. I see uh, her three sons, and they're all in the military. Mm -hmm. And then I see pictures of her grandkids. Then she has like a picture of her husband, <laughs> her late husband there. Yeah. <laughs> with like an American flag there, so he might have been in the military too. And and then I'm, I'm looking around, and then 
the two of them are not in the military now anymore. One's a cop, one's a fireman. <laughs> and then on the, on the kitchen, there's like a, a thing, we love you, Grandma. And then there's like cats walking around. She's watching her soap operas and it's like, okay, this isn't working. I can't. No. I can't. I, well, I, first off, I need both units and then I don't want to be the one that says, okay, Granny, time to go. Yeah, ex exactly. Exactly. You, so, I, so I looked at the realtor and says, no, this isn't going to work for me. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. That's a good call. Well, that's uh no, I'm, I'm, I'm glad. Hey, that's, I'm, I'm glad it's working out. Uh, you know, it's coming around that, you, you know, you're going to find a place real soon. Obviously I'm looking for a short term place just because we, you know, we don't, we don't know how, you know, how quickly you'll get the house, but yeah. So be up here. So, um, you know, I'm looking for yeah, the one I liked was in Lynnhurst, by the way. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Well, I'd say I'm 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 looking forward to it. Get it going, you know. We'll, we'll be able to get this unit house going for sure. Um, I mean, uh, yeah. I, I mean, it's it, it's nice it's, to get it going. I mean, uh, you'll have your we'll have our the, our little time of uh, content. Mm -hmm. My parents, who knows when they're going to be able to get out here? My mother's going through cataracts now. Oh, really? Yep. Hmm. So. She has her health issues, and yeah. they got to sell the place in Idaho. Yeah. So we're talking maybe two years before they're able to move in. Yeah, yeah. But at yeah. least to get to uh, finally find a place would be nice. Yeah. Uh, well, no, absolutely. I mean, that that's that's really the <laughs> – you got to find a place first. That's that's the major step. But you've done everything else on your side as far as, you know, the, you're, you're ready to go with the mortgage and all that. I mean, it's – Yeah. That, that, that appears to be – uh, uh, yeah, ready to go. Yeah, yeah. I mean, th th those are major issues. Uh, you know, just once you find a place, then then the real work starts. But uh, but no, so you're you're doing the work. You're getting out there. I mean, like I said, we yes, and I'm going to look at a few more places on Sunday. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, that's yeah. We've got a, got a a lot of stuff planned. Um, so I, I think I'm going to go in the office tomorrow. But uh, I don't know if anyone's going to be there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, I know, and that's and I'm thinking I might, I might, I might just check out Newark, you know, might just or uh, go into Hoboken and and you know, maybe look for some short term rentals while while I'm here and I have the day. Yeah, yeah, that would be a good idea. Uh, I know Sunday I'm going to be looking at more places, but we could hit some mini golf when I'm done. Yeah, ab absolutely, absolutely. Some mini golf, and maybe maybe go to an Italian restaurant or something, get some pizza or something. Yeah, Calabrias. Calabrias, yeah, yeah, we yeah we got to go there for sure. I heard uh, I heard uh, Dave gave them a pretty good score. 8.9. They even put it on their box. They even <laughs> have signs of Dave out there. Really? Yeah, 8.9. 8. I mean, that, that's, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I don't have any scores or uh, above that, you know. Yeah, he doesn't give many nines. No, no, not at all. Not at all. Well, that's, I'm, like I said, I'm, I'm excited to be up here and, uh, we're, we're, we're planning on, so we've got some stuff to do this weekend before we head out. I mean, uh, yeah, and we got a Mets Braves doubleheader. Yeah, that's Monday. A, Monday, it's that's gonna be. I tell you, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying a lot of baseball. Yep, I got, I got tickets pretty close to where I usually sit. Okay, cool. Yeah, and I, and this will, this will be my first. Uh, let's, I mean, yeah, I went to the Battery in Atlanta, um, and so I guess this will be my. I didn't make it out to Tropicana Field, but this, so I guess this will be my second. Oh, only my second Major League Baseball stadium. Well, we got two next week at least. Yeah, yeah, at, at least, at least. Because uh, I, I looked at the the, uh, the Cubs schedule. I don't know what time we're going to get to Chicago on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. But we might have to just like maybe go in and out of the card show on a, on a Thursday and then get to that day game. It's going yeah. to do it day. Is we have to. If we're in Chicago and the Cubs are in for just one day, we have to get to Wrigley Field. Yeah, no, absolutely. And then the card show, I mean, the card show is like a week-long event. So yeah, I mean, and uh, somebody uh, contacted me from the card show, wants us to stop by their table. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm, I mean, I'm, yeah, I'm sure we're, 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 we're going to have plenty of time. Uh, and, of course, it's and, of course, Saturday night, we got, we're going we're gonna to go to uh, see Leroy Brown. In the baddest part of town. Yeah. Are, are we doing that? Yes. 
And uh, if we get to the stadium early enough, we might get ourselves a bobblehead. Okay. All right. What uh, which, well, What are they giving out? I think it's Jan Monika. Okay. All right. I'm 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 going with you. If you say we're going to Southside Chicago. I mean, come on. We're there. The White Sox are in town. The White Sox are in first place. The White Sox are the best team in the American League. They could be going to, we could be watching a team that's going to World Series. You know, in my lifetime, I've seen all but two major league franchises. Yeah. And I've seen the Expos. I saw the Expos very last game at mm. the Shea Stadium. Yeah. So I've seen 29 of 31 teams. And who are the two you haven't seen? The Seattle Mariners and the Chicago White Sox. All right. Well, we'll the White Sox. The White Sox have only come to City Field once, once or twice, and the uh, Mariners were supposed to come in last year, but you know what happened last year. Yeah. Yeah. So the two teams I have never seen in person are the White Sox and the Mariners. There was actually three teams coming into this year I'd never seen in person. Yeah. One of them was the Orioles, and I checked that off in May. Okay. Did they come and play the Mets? Yep. Well, we'll we'll, we'll get the White Sox. I'm, you know, listen. I'll I'll follow you into the mist of Avalon if that's what you mean. So we'll we'll go to, we'll go to the South Side Chicago to see some White Sox. And just think, uh, when the uh, hockey season starts, you get to see some hockey at the Prudential Center. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. No, like I said, I'm 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 excited to be to be moving up here and uh you know it's it's been a it feels like it's been a long time but i mean we've only been doing it for a couple months really uh you know at least talk, talking about the unit house and everything um you know and I'm, you know what's good is the devils in their second game they start the season with the blackhawks in their second game they actually played the seattle kraken oh, so really? i'm gonna so i'll get a really good early look at the kraken yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that that'll that'll be awesome. I'm, I'm I'll be happy to be up here, and you know, who knows? Maybe 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 we'll get a, some devil's jerseys and some uh, some putty face paint. And uh, I've uh, and I have seen every NHL team. Yeah, including the Atlanta Thrashers. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Now the the Thrashers did they move back up to Winnipeg? Well, they were an expansion team, and they became the second Winnipeg Jets. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. They. Uh, I, I love keeping track of all that stuff that the team's moving around and everything. But uh, I'm, I'm no, I mean, like I said, I'm excited to be up here in in, in New Jersey and uh, you know mo moving up here officially real soon. Um, but I tell you what, I, I got to keep an eye on Jacksonville though, because they are you know they're growing, but they're still making some just silly, silly mistakes. Um, did you see the Did you see the statue? Yes, I did. It. I you know. I tweeted about it and then I, I had to blog about it just because I was like, this is this is ridiculous. I I get that it is there is an artist behind that piece. Like I'm not trashing the artist. I'm not saying that like the go you know, like the city government shouldn't put up an art piece or anything. <clears throat> but that thing that it is allegedly supposedly supposed to like spell out jacks in some funky way it's a hundred it's going to be 150 feet tall why there there is no reason for there to be a 150 foot tall illegible piece of metal in downtown jacksonville people are like oh colin it's going to be a beautiful park it's a park you know it's like no that like i'm fine with the park but that is a huge chunk of metal, 150 feet tall, and it's going to cost $18 million. $18 million for that? That is wild. You know what? And somebody, <laughs> uh, the, the Barstool Sports main account, uh, they reach, you know, they tweeted out, you know, it said, you know, Jacksonville spending $18 million on this, on this statue. Why? And some art design major retweeted it and said, well, because it's a lot of metal, it's going to cost a lot of money. It's like, no. Okay, someone, someone's, uh, someone's, uh, sk uh, someone's skimming money somewhere. Yeah, I, no, no one was asking, why does this cost $18 million? The question is, why are we spending $18 million on it? Yeah. Um, and so the mayor still has to sign off on it. 
everyone, even like everyone that I've talked to in Jacksonville still, and everyone that commented on the on the tweets and everything, it says derp, it says lerp, it says lax, it says lex, it says jocks, it says locks, it says everything except for, and I might have just said jacks, but it it like you have to be told. Oh, that's supposed to be Jax. And then some people were like, oh, well, it's not supposed to say Jax. It's just supposed to be an art piece. It's like, it's no, no, you can't throw that out there at the very end and say, oh, well, it's, you know, it's some abstract piece that everyone has different emotions to. It's like, no, that is going to be. And you know what? And I, I've, I've come, I've, I've kind of like in my head, I've wrapped it around and said, you know what? If they do end up making it, that'll just be the most Jacksonville thing ever. And you know that'll just be what people know of Jacksonville for is the derp statue. Let's go down to Jacksonville and take a picture with the derp statue. That's yeah. what it, that's what it will be. And and if if that happens, that's what we deserve. I, I mean it 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 it, 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 it I mean it, it it makes you it makes your town look stupid. It, it does. Yes, it does. And I mean, hope, hopefully, I mean, again, the mayor has to sign off on it. Hopefully there's enough in there where it's like, I don't even, I don't care what excuse they use. I don't care if it's like, Hey, maybe let's not spend $8 million on this. It's not, people were trying to compare it to the St. Louis arch. People, people were like, Oh no, it's going to be like the St. Louis arch. People are going to come out of town to visit it. It's like, yeah, there's no historical precedent here. Like there, this is a piece of me- You're trying to compare this to the St. Louis arch. I can understand if you want to compare it to the Chicago bean, because I don't know anything about the bean. I, I know people, people go to the bean in Chicago and take pictures of it and everything, but I don't know anyone actually going to Chicago. Yeah. Yeah. The only way I want to see the bean is for actually walking past it. Yeah. That's, I, I don't know anyone. So people were like, Oh, people are going to come from out of town. It's like, what do you think this is? Do you think people are gonna come to Jacksonville to see a derp statue? Like I, <sighs> but yeah, so that's it, uh, it, it. Really looks stupid. It looks like it actually says Lex. Yeah, that's uh, that. So a lot of people said it either looks like Lex or derp. That was like those. <laughs> those are the two. And a lot of people said Lex, and they were like, "Hey, maybe it's you know, hey, if there's a bagel store behind it or something, and is it, you know, it's just a big Lex, like that'd be fine." I don't know. I the derp, derp, the derp jaguars. Yeah. Derp, 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 derp. If they make the statue, the the jumbo shrimp have to have a derp night where they're the like the jumbo shrimp just become for like for one night of the season of the Jacksonville derps. I it's it's such a Jacksonville thing. I, you know, part part of me is just like, can we can we please not do this? Can we please be like a, a big city like we're supposed to be? You know, we've got a million people. We're going to be 2 million in 2030. Like, let, let's act like a big city here and, and not do this. Then the other half of me says, you know what? It's Jacksonville. Jacksonville's going to Jacksonville. You know, you got, you got, you just, you just got to go down there and, and you know, you got to yell Duval from the rooftops. You know, you just got to be Jacksonville. You got to be who you are. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, yeah. So I, I don't know. Doug's Doug's might have to make a trip to a city council meeting real soon if they get this thing. It actually looks like a big old helium balloon too. Yeah, well, that's yeah. It, it, it looks like it looks like a silver. It, it looks like it looks like a silver balloon. It looks like a, a balloon structure. I, it's not even. I don't. People are crazy. The fact that they were trying to compare it to the St. Louis Arch, like that is. Hmm. I'm getting upset now. <laughs> no, but again, it's it's one of those things. It's it's it is what it is, but it's it's silly, and I hope it doesn't go through. But if it does, I know we're going to make the best of it. Speaking of which, uh, the Cleveland Guardians. What do you think about that, Frank? Don't like it. Yeah, I now uh, apparently the Guardians' name is something specific to the city. Like it's not just some. They didn't just say, oh, hey, you know, Indians, Guardians, like, you know, we'll go with that kind of like alliteration kind of thing. Um, apparently, there's something about a, a bridge that has Guardians or something, has some kind of connection to the city. I'm, I'm not from there, so I don't yeah, know. Yeah, but do you realize that there's an XFL team known to go, named the Guardians? I do. I do. They Were they the DC? No. Nope. 
DC was the defenders. Who were the guardians? New York. No, they were the New York guardians. Okay. Yeah. Oh, and the XFL is still a team. I mean, they're still around. Yeah. You know, the season got shut off early, but I mean, yeah. Well, there won't be a season next year either. Oh, oh really? Yeah. They were uh, trying to get something with the XFL and that just didn't happen. The oh, who are we, who are we talking about here? The X, uh, I mean the CFL. They're trying to get something with the CFL. Gotcha. Okay, yeah. So the X, yeah, I, I heard that somebody. I think somebody in, in Durham or, or Southern Maryland was telling me that that uh, the XFL and CFL were trying to like come come together and do some kind of merger or something. Yeah, it didn't happen, and the XFL is going to try to reconnect in twenty twenty three. That's that's never good. That's never no, it's good. not. When you have to, it's it's all that's always like when the you know when the team says you know we're ceasing operations for the season, it's like, eh, it's probably for more than the season. But you know, I mean, it's a shame the new XFL wasn't as bad as the first XFL. Yeah, and it just it just never it just like fell apart because of the pandemic. Yeah, well, and also, well, I mean, also they were they were in towns that already had teams. Um, yeah, to me, I think the uh, the these smaller leagues are better off. Like if they want to have a New York team, don't play at, don't play here at uh, the Meadowlands. Play at Harrison. Yeah. Call yourself New Jersey. Call yourself New Jersey. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, and that's I mean you know go play in Memphis. Be the Memphis Showboats. Play in San Antonio. Well, USFL is trying to relaunch. I know. I, I saw that with Doug Flutie. I don't. I don't I, know. I don't know what you know. Again, it's one of these things when you get like three or four leagues. You know, you think maybe one of them has to work, but uh, well, yeah, the, uh, the original USFL would have worked if it wasn't for Donald Trump getting a little too uh, big for his britches. Yeah, I tell you what, that that is, and that is one of the the best thirty for thirties that I've seen. Small potatoes, have you seen that? Yeah, yeah, that that's a that's a great thirty for thirty. It just goes into the whole thing. But hey, Trump did win that uh, did win that court case. Yeah, and got a whole dollar. <laughs> Reminds me of coming to America. Oh, you win one dollar. One whole dollar. Yep. Crazy. Well, but hey, if if they come back, the New, the New Jersey Generals will be a team again, right? We can hope. There you go. <laughs> Or, well, we're we're going we're going to Chicago. Uh, you know, we we got a lot of stuff planned for for uh, New York and New Jersey in the next couple of days. But uh, we're headed to Chicago on Monday. Um, what time are we leaving on? What are we leaving? Oh, no, we're leaving Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday. We're gonna, we're gonna leave too. I'm I'm on, I've been I've been on the road for too long. I'm just I'm the day has kind of merged together now. But yeah, so we're gonna be leaving on Tuesday. Uh, we'll get there on Wednesday. And uh, we got a lot of stuff planned. The, the card show is going to be a great time. We're going to be at the national, uh, so we've got the card show. We've got we're going to try out some some beefs. We're going to go get some hot dogs. We're going to do some some deep dish, Cubs game, White Sox game. I mean, we've we've got a, a big week ahead of ourselves. You know what? And as we go by, we have to. Uh, it looks like we're going to be going through Ohio, Pennsylvania, Indiana. Mm -hmm. See what we can see in those places. Oh, absolutely! Yeah, I went through a couple of places uh, on my last road trip, and it's it's nice it's nice driving through there. I mean, the the wind turbines kind of get scary at night with all the red lights and everything. If you're not familiar with it, um, but it's 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 nice to be driving through, uh, you know, just corn pastures. I'm looking forward to. You haven't been driving through any place in two of you. Or ridden through or driven through Wyoming. Yeah. Nothing. 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 Just the road. You know, uh, my uncle was trying to become a uh, a uh, apprentice truck driver. Mm -hmm. And he pissed off the truck driver. The guy told him, uh, go out, check the tire pressure, and then left him on the side of the road in the middle of nowhere in Wyoming. <laughs> when did this happen? Oh, like 
89 ish, 1990. So, no cell phone or anything? No. <laughs> yeah, like, like late, late 80s, early 90s has happened. And so, he's just, he was just on the road in Wyoming. Yeah, he had to walk 20 blocks, 20 miles to the uh, nearest uh, gas station. Oh, my goodness. That's scary. In Wyoming, hey, you never know. There's there's animals out there and everything. You never know. <laughs> I have, uh, I've driven through Texas a couple of times, um, and that's that's kind of similar. I mean, obviously, the I think the climate's a bit different, but in Texas, you can you can pretty much drive through Texas in like two day, two or three days, and just there's nothing for the for the most part. Well, we were driving places places in Wyoming when. And, uh, I yeah I went had a road trip to Wyoming, that said population ten. <laughs> it's almost it's almost I just picture some guy walking out and like like a newborn baby and like a guy just walks out and like changes the like ten ten to eleven on the sign. <laughs> yep, it's like just a handmade sign. That's awesome. I well hey that's that's the beauty of road tripping you know you see you see all these all these places that like I said yeah I yeah I haven't had a good road trip in a long time I. I had a couple of uh, drives with my god brother mm -hmm. who uh, says he's going to try to meet us in Chicago. Okay, cool. And uh, yeah, I, I, uh, he, uh, did, he took the wheel because you know me and my in the highways. Oh, yeah. No, I, I believe me. I definitely know. I definitely know. Well, one of these days I'll f try to figure out how to beat it. No, it's okay. I think, I think it's, I think you've, I think you've done enough. I think it's okay. Like, there's, there's no reason to risk that. Uh, and I got this great thing today, uh, today. Dashboard mount for the GoPro. Nice. Very cool. Very cool. We can put it on, uh, uh, what you call the, the uh, slow shutter speed and yeah. see the uh, road trip in, in fast motion. Uh, okay. Yeah, that'll be awesome. That'll, that'll, be, the, uh, that'll be the beginning of our... Uh, Chicago trip video. We'll make that. All right. Well, hey, that's Barstool Units. I'm in town in Newark, not the same town, but in town. Uh, I'm in Newark, Frank's in Belleville. We're going to uh, meet up this weekend. A uh, lot of stuff going on for the next week. We got baseball, sports cards. Food. I don't know if you like Joe Crab Shack, but sadly for you, it closed. Oh, no. Yeah, I, I, I'm not a. I want to go to like an actual like a like a, a seafood place. Yes, I think there used to be a Joe's Crab Shack in like the lobby of that hotel. Oh, really? Yep. Oh no. Yeah, I'm I'll, I'm looking forward to some actual some like Italian food now that I'm back in Jersey. Uh, well, uh, you'll like Calabrias. Yeah, I can't. You know, I, I appreciate. You know, when I'm in Florida, Olive Garden Carabas. I I appreciate it for what, but. Now that I'm here in in the homeland in Jersey, I want to get some real Italian food. So I'm looking forward to it. We got a lot of stuff planned. That's Barstool Units. I'm Coach Doug's Frank the Tank. Please take us out. On the road again. Gee, I can't wait to get on the road again. Going places with I haven't been before. Cause I can't wait to get on the road again. Click like, subscribe. See you next week. See you later. From Chicago. From Chicago.